Hello and welcome to Habiba's Creative Doll World. These are my custom dolls and I've been obsessed with dolls for as long as I can remember. As a little girl, my parents gave me dolls, thank God. And even if you don't love dolls or find them a little scary, which you really shouldn't, I hope you will appreciate this video and the creativity it takes to make custom dolls. So why do I love dolls? I think they are fun. I love the fact that I can customize them. I can change their clothes, change their eyes, change their hair. I can carry them around with me. They make great travel companions and they really bring out my imagination and creativity. So usually when I travel as a physician out of town, it can get very lonely and so I like to bring my dolls with me. <laughs> and so some might think it's a little strange for an adult to be carrying dolls with them, but honestly this has become my norm, taking my dolls with me to a quiet, lonely little hotel room. They make for great companions. Usually the hotel rooms are very, eh, blah sterile, unfamiliar, and so it's nice to have the dolls to work with. I get to make them clothes, I get to keep my mind off work, I go to the craft stores around the corner, and I bring them with me. Sometimes I get a nice apartment and I bring the dolls with me, and so over the last few years, my doll collection has grown, and they always come with me. So, here are the girls. Khadija has the braids and she got adopted recently. Behind her is Winter uh, and she was made in the winter, December of 2018. That's Penelope. She's the Southern Belle holding the rose. That's Suki. She's Japanese. Well, actually she's American but she grew up in Japan. And that is Jamila who is Caribbean and behind her or next to her is Emily and she's English. And they just brighten up my day. <laughs> I take them everywhere. So there's Jamila. She loves a new hairstyle. Doesn't she look cool with her new hairstyle? Uh, those were croquette or crochet hair, which you can make crochet hair wigs or braid into your own natural hair. And uh, she really liked it. And Penelope was reading a book outside. I don't know what she was reading, but she really looks like she's really into it. So on this day, Khadija was really happy. She was celebrating the fact that she had been featured on somebody else's Instagram. Okay, y'all, this is crazy. Like, I'm not even joking right now. I just came home and this is what I see. This is not funny. I don't know if she's hurt. The chair's on the floor, she was on the fireplace, and this was what it looks like. I don't know if one of the girls pushed her, or whether she jumped and she missed, but this does not look good. And uh, she's looking down and she looks mighty guilty. What happened? I am so sorry, honey. So sorry. Here we go again. I come back from work another evening and this time it's Emily on the floor in front of the fireplace. I was so upset. The girls didn't know what happened but it turns out that the neighbors upstairs would jump really heavy and things would fall off the mantle. In this case, Emily and so did her glasses. I was just happy she wasn't hurt. Sometimes the girls love a good photo shoot and they were celebrating Black Panther and I think Jamila was saying Wakanda forever. <laughs> but they really looked nice and they wanted me to feature their pictures on Instagram, which I did. So it was a busy Saturday morning, if I recall. But at the end of the day, they were exhausted and fell asleep. I thought Khadija looked so cute and next to her Jamila with that bright red hair and her headscarf on her head. This is another weekend and the girls wanted to play. Jamila always falls asleep, but she looked really regal in her rattan chair and her scruffy boots and jeans. Did I tell you she's Caribbean? Yeah, she's Caribbean. 
Okay, so I didn't tell you what happened when the girls, Jamila and Khadija, first met the other girls. For a long time, I didn't have any brown girls in the house. But eventually, Khadija and Jamila came into our lives. Khadija wasn't sure how to feel because Emily always just wanted to touch her hair. Emily was so curious about her hair and the beads that she couldn't help herself. Khadija wanted to tell her to stop touching her hair. Winter stepped in and said, Emily, I think it's kind of rude that you didn't ask her and you went ahead and started touching her hair. And Emily said, I can't help it. It's so pretty. It's so cool. Not far away, Penelope, the Southern Belle, was touching Jamila's hair. Jamila had big hair, big kinky curly hair with a braid in front and a big bow. She loved her hair and she was very proud of the fact that she was from the Caribbean. She didn't like Penelope touching her hair, but she wasn't sure what to say. Penelope was just so excited to make a new friend and was so excited to meet Jamila and her curiosity got the best of her. I'm sorry if I offended you, she told Jamila. I really should have asked your permission before I touched your hair. Suki looked at them both and was saying, we're gonna be just fine as she clutched her little teddy. It wasn't long before the girls all sat down to play, Suki, Teddy, and Jamila. They played with their donuts and they had a little tea party with muffins. Emily showed up. She was feeling mopey. You guys never play with me. I always feel left out. Suki said, that's not true. You just need to learn to share. If you will share your teddy bear Rufus with us, you can come play. Okay, said Emily, I'll share. So she gave Jamila her teddy bear, Rufus, the handmade felt teddy bear. Jamila was really happy to hold Rufus. It made her feel all warm and cuddly. Emily sat down next to them to eat. Because Khadija and Jamila were new to the house and Khadija did not see Jamila, she began yelling for her, Jamila, Jamila, where are you? I've made a new friend, her name is Winter. Jamila responded, I'm here, I'm playing with Rufus, come over here, I'm fine. Suki yelled back, we're fine. And they sat and played all together, despite their differences. It turns out Khadija was an avid reader, she loved to read, and so she decided to read the girls a story. And they all sat back intently listening to her story about her travels all the way from Ghana. Wow. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This was a story about dolls. Why the salad? Well, that's my favorite salad. Pecans, walnuts, cranberries, feta cheese, arugula, salad dressing, blueberries, give it a good toss and that's what I did and walked away I come back and there is Jamila and Khadija and the rest of the girls in my salad nobody had asked me nobody had washed their hands nobody had knives and forks I wasn't very happy to see them in my salad I'll get you a bowl. All you had to do was ask permission. Fancy Baby stood there saying, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yes, you guys haven't met Fancy Baby. She's the newest doll in the house. So this is where the girls got together. Khadija, Jamila, and Fancy Baby. Fancy Baby's the youngest in the house and she loves playing outside in the flowers. Here she is with Khadija. Jamila didn't like the flack they were playing.
playing in the flowers and digging up some of the flowers. I just wanted to have fun, said Fancy Baby. I love the flowers. And Khadija said, I like lying in the flowers. What's wrong with that? Jamila was stern. Then there was the day Penelope was playing in the eggplants. The baby eggplants. She was playing hide and seek with Teddy below her. Can you see me? Can you see me? She had long blonde hair. And because she had long blonde hair, her head was often heavy and she fell backwards. I had to come and lift up her head and make her stand again. So we decided to give her a haircut. She really liked her haircut. On this Saturday, Emily sat outside on her wicker chair here in the south, holding her teddy, of course. She was enjoying the sunshine out on the deck here in North Carolina. Suki was sitting eating her ice cream while Khadija was reading her book. I think she wants to be an engineer one day. Jamila was sitting on the chair, lounging with her book as well. Ah, to be outside under the sunshine. I wonder what she's reading. Next to her, Winter had fallen asleep. She wasn't very keen on all the summer's heat. She looked so adorable lying there. I wonder what she was dreaming. Do you dream? This is a behind the scenes look. I love taking pictures for Instagram. And usually this is what it looks like. Posing the girls. So how do I actually customize these dolls? Well, there's a lot of chiseling and carving and painting and coloring and dismantling and experimenting and getting parts, sometimes ordered from as far as China or Japan or Russia. And then these are teeth. I decided to customize one of my dolls with teeth. So that was clay that was baked and hot glued onto the back plate or the front plate actually. And she has teeth. So I was very proud of myself because it took a lot of patience and fiddling. And now time to put the doll back together. There's a lot of screws and string and it takes a lot of patience. I also love the fact that I get to make them wigs. This is where I really get creative. Wigs made out of human hair, which is not always ideal. Ideally, or traditionally, most dolls are made with nylon hair. But you can also find other types of synthetic hair or goat hair or even soft alpaca hair or mohair. And these were wefts that I had used for a real wig. I thought, why not use it to make a doll wig? So she had a wig cap and it fit really well and then we braided the hair. And I thought she looked so cute. This is braiding hair that we made into a wig. I don't know why I keep saying they. They was really me. <laughs> and then this is another wig made with hair used for crochet hair. You know, you can make crochet wigs. You can get the hair from the beauty shop. Well, I like the way Jamila sat here patiently as I made her a wig and then trimmed it so that it would suit her face and be more realistic. I think it came out cute. What do you think? If you want me to make a video about how I make all these different wigs, definitely let me know in the comments below. This is another wig I made uh, with braiding hair or twisting hair and it came out really natural because I find it important that my brown dolls have hair textures that look realistic. To make the clothes, there's a lot of cutting and hand sewing. So it's fun, it makes me feel happy, it makes me feel imaginative and I hope you loved this video 
And if you did, go ahead and share it with another little girl who needs to be inspired and creative.